This is Airs in On Air, a video podcast featuring expert information from the blower and compressor professionals at Airs in USA. Welcome to Airs in On Air. Hello, I'm Ralph Weiser with Airs in USA Corporation. I'm the technical manager here at Airs, and today I'm going to talk about pressure relief valves. The pressure relief valves so help you solve three basic problems, especially in pneumatic conveying systems. Pressure relief valve, for one, is supposed to protect you against overpressure. And uh, most of our competition probably will use one of two different kinds of pressure relief valves. One is a weight loaded valve, where weight sits on the valve seat, and once the pressure is exceeded, the weight of the, the valve it will literally pop off its seat. The same goes for a open lever type valve. Same thing, pressure exceeds the set value, it pops off. And that is where the airs and valve is different. Let me illustrate. I'm going to take one of our relief valves and I'm going to take the fan not the fan shroud, the um, valve shroud off of, its, of the valve seat here. And here you have the innards, the inner components comprising of a so called valve bell with a valve seat, a spring, the adjustment rod as well as a couple of internal parts, and those really make the difference. And that's where Airzen is the most innovative. Because in pneumatic conveying systems, you would like a smooth, steady flow that keeps the material in suspense in your pipework. How do you do that? Not with a weight loader valve, because that one will pop and your air column might actually sink and you might create a pipe plug. What we've built into our valve is a small little shock dampener, like so. Take the lock nut off. All right. There we go. Spring aside, and here you can now see the smooth action of the valve and the built-in shock dampener. Very smooth, and the, the faster the pressure rise, it will resist the shock and then smoothly let the air out. Which leads me to the, to the second part of this valve that is really neat because weight loaded valves they come in preset type weight classes of uh, and that also they correspond with a, a, a set relief pressure. Here your set relief pressure is marked on this little data tag that we put on there and the, the valve set pressure is set by means of the valve spring and the, the adjustment valves. So along the valve rod length, you can virtually adjust it to any, um, any pressure, any desired pressure. We are not limited to a certain weight class or weight size. And then by means of the, the shock dampener, we have a guarantee a smooth action of your pressure throughout the operation of your system. And what else is it supposed to do? I put it back together, put the lock nut back on, and obviously, is going to be locked, secured, locked in place here at the factory for you according to whatever your machine needs and is designed for with a set pressure on your shroud, it gets mounted and in order to make it tamper proof we have an additional feature built in for you especially for maintenance managers who would like to know if something has been tampered with one of these screws is later on when everything is said and done sealed with a lead seal that bears the airs and logo, so you know that nobody tampered with it. But once you're all ready to go, it's assembled and your machine is ready for action, you will know that the pressure relief valve pops off or relief pressure by putting your hand over top of here and you will see that hot air is escaping, which is the other nifty thing besides of the set pressure and the smooth action, we help solve you one last problem and that is the diagnosis of system issues. If you go along regular weight loaded valves, you might hear hissing, but you really do not know the quantity of air escaping because the air usually blows off the circumference of the valve. So here we try to sh sh funnel it through the shroud and it comes out at a concentrated flow. You do this, do this because of two reasons. For one, we might want to duck this air out, which is another benefit. We can duck this air into another room or somewhere where it's, where it's really less detrimental to have a hot air escape. But the one most important thing is that 
the air escapes and you can finally say, boy, I have a problem. Or the second thing that I've often observed in plants, that these pressure relief valves relieve the air, but nobody does anything about it. And your product quality appears to be in order, which means it's a symptom of the machine is delivering way too much air, which is one, one big air power consumption waster that would help you by, by ways of contacting us to maybe turn down the speed of your machine and thereby conserving energy um, in, in kicking back the uh, RPM of the blower and not putting so much air into, into the system in the first place. Which then really helps us save energy uh, and plus the hot air doesn't escape into a hot room that might already be hot because it's the ambient temperature from let's say down in Florida is already 95 and you're putting more hot air into the same room. Very detrimental for the, all the machine in, inside. Well, I went across three different things that we do for you. Uh, one is the set pressure. We do it in a calibrated fashion. Number two is the smooth flow. And number three, the diagnosis of issues. And all wrapped up in one on a blower package. And we do it for every standard piece of equipment. Thank you so much for your attention. If you have any questions, please give us a call. And otherwise, we'll talk uh, through the next one. Yes. Airzen On Air is a video podcast production of Airzen USA. Airzen, one step ahead.